guys welcome back to another edition of intuitive angling really appreciate you guys checking today's video out and today i'm going to give you guys some tips and advice on how to not get taken advantage of when you buy a used bass boat because man i've been around boats my whole life bought a lot of used ones back in the day got a lot of buddies that buy used ones and there's there's not a lot that you need to know about it but there's a few really major key things that can help you from uh, regretting your purchase. So I'm gonna go over a couple things on the boats here, sort of give you guys uh, my opinion on it. Real quick, just wanna invite everybody, if you guys haven't had a chance to check out the View Products tab uh, that YouTube has on our videos now. Um, when you, when you uh, click on the video, you'll see a thing that says View Products on there. If you click on that and click on one of the products, uh, the channel gets 20 cents every time you do that. You don't have to buy anything. You just have to click on the product and look at it. So that's a great way to support the channel if you're wanting to help out with that. Okay, guys, I'm going to take you for a little tour here. I'll give you guys some tips and info here. Just hey guys, check it out. One of the first things that people look at that they give way too much energy to is the condition of your skag. Now, if you're buying a used boat, most of the time you're going to have some type of scratches or nicks on the skag. Do not let this scare you off. This is not a big deal. The more important elements you want to look at is make sure that the prop shaft is straight on there. And all you have to do is just spin it and make sure that prop shaft is straight because that is the important thing. It's not what it looks like here. If you fish shallow water, you're going to have that. So that's not a big deal. Don't sweat that. Second with that is the condition of the hole. Make sure that you really inspect close around the transom area that there's no uh, you know, spider webbing or any type of cracks like that. Because if you have that on the boat, that's a good indication that the person has really driven the boat hard in some super rough water to cause those, uh, those uh, stress cracks. Another like thing is, is underneath the hole here, guys. This is another area where a lot of people put too much energy into. Don't sweat it if you've got some scratches on the hull of the boat there. Because a lot of times if you're fishing in shallow water or you're beaching the boat, you're gonna have some type of scratches there. That's not a big deal, that's cosmetic. And if you're a fisherman, you're gonna have that. So I've had so many people that buy some of my used boats that freak out because there's some scratches on the bottom. That's just gonna happen, that's part of fishing. It doesn't have anything to do with the integrity of the boat. So um, I would recommend uh, you know, having the keel protector, but don't get freaked out if you see some scratches on Another the bottom. Another good way to tell how much the boat's been used is pay close attention to the tires because the, how the tires are worn is gonna give you a good indication of how many miles the boat has been towed like that. So if a boat's, if your tires are pretty bald, uh, not a big deal, just make sure that you have them check the bearings on there to make sure your axles and your bearings are in good shape. And that's gonna be a, a good way to help you out with that. Now we talked about the lower unit of the boat uh, not being a big deal if it's scratched up. Guys, one thing that I would, this is the opposite, take a close look at the trolling motor you buy. If you've got a trolling motor that's got a lot of scratches on it and it's really jacked up and nicked up like this, that's a good indication the person's been pretty rough with the boat. You can you can fish shallow water, you're gonna get some scratches like this, but a lot of times if you have a, a prop that's really nicked up, a lower unit that's back, that's a good indication that the person has not taken real good care of that trolling motor. This is absolutely ridiculous right here. Nobody needs three depth finders in the front of the boat. You don't have to have that. Okay guys, now let's talk about the most important aspect of buying a used boat. The most important thing that you have to consider that you do not want to get screwed on is the outboard motor. And there's a couple different things that you can do with this. The number one thing that you want to do when you buy, before you buy a used boat, is have a compression check done on the motor. A compression check will tell you the overall health of the motor. Um, it's going to go a long way into making sure you didn't buy a lemon. And don't get too freaked out or anything about the uh, how many hours the boat has on it because you don't know how many you don't know the the quality of those hours. Now some of the new route boards they have an indicator that will tell you the RPMs of the boat and how many uh, hours they have at different RPMs. But a lot of times the boat can have a tremendous amount of hours on it, and those are like at lower speeds, at idles, that type of stuff. So don't pay near the attention to how many hours a motor has on it versus the compression check on it. Um, in my opinion, the compression check and making sure the boat doesn't have any spider webbing or cracking are the two most important elements not to get taken advantage of. So much of the other stuff is cosmetic. If you got, like I said, some scratches or blemishes or you know issues with the carpet, that type of stuff, that just comes with fishing. So a lot of times you have to decide 
are you going to fish out of this boat or you do want do you want this boat just to show off that's the big thing if you're if you're going to be fishing out of the boat don't let those little cosmetic flaws keep you from buying the boat if the boat is overall what you want because you're going to get those scratches in it regardless um, that's a good way to get the price down a little bit but don't let that keep you from from buying one um, make it do a check overall with the boat make sure it's not missing any bolts or nuts everything's tight on it um, that's going to save you a long way with that but it's pretty simple guys if you you know there's very few times that you're going to get uh, have buyer's regret on a boat if you make sure the motor's in good shape and you make sure the hull has good integrity to it. So hope that is a quick video. Hope that helps you guys out and we'll check with you later. See you.